Survivors Rally Against Deadly Violence by Douglas Montero, Plain Dealer Reporter, October 29, 1995. Publication, The Plain Dealer, Cleveland, Ohio. A streak of tears cut a path across Brenda Golson's face. Golson, carrying three pictures of her son at different stages of his life, wasn't alone in her grief. The parents of at least five slain children and adults took to the streets with about 100 others yesterday in a rally against violence. The march, which choked traffic along St. Clair Avenue between East 93rd Street and East 105th Street, was organized by Iris Sullen, whose son John Moore, 16, was killed by a stray bullet a year ago today. I want to get this city's attention because these kids are out here killing each other, and they, the politicians, know it's happening, said Sullen, who led the marchers, carrying a wood carving of her son's nickname, Boo. We have to prevent these deaths from happening again, she said, chanting stop the violence. Save our children, women, men, children, and teenagers marched while several police cars held back traffic. The march began at the East 93rd Street driveway where Moore was killed in a drive-by shooting. The Lincoln West High School sophomore was a member of a rap group called Graveyard Shift. The group was scheduled as the opening act for Bone Thugs and Harmony at the Agora the day after the shooting. Two teenagers have already been sentenced for the death, and the case against an adult is pending in common pleas court. Marching next to Sullen was Diane Hemphill, whose daughter, Liza Moon, 26, was shot and killed February 17. Outside Cuyahoga County Community College's Eastern Campus, Moon was killed by her math tutor, Andre Presley, 21, who had developed a crush on her. He took his own life before police could arrest him. Hemphill urged police and politicians to do everything they can to get guns off the streets. There need to be stiffer penalties for youths to show them that they will be missing a part of their lives if they commit a crime, she said. Youths today don't take crime seriously. The Black on Black Crime Committee co-sponsored the march, which is becoming a Saturday fixture in the city. Last Saturday, a demonstration was held to remind the public the killer of Bianca White, 11, was still roaming the street. In June 1944, Bianca was found inside her East Cleveland home. She had been stabbed about 30 times. Another march was held two Saturdays ago for Tamish Cruz, 16, whose body was found in June behind a recreation center on Clark Ave and West 57th Street. He had been shot in the head. No one has been charged in his slaying. We need to stop the violence that is going on in the neighborhoods, Committee Chairman Abdul Rahim Hassan said. We all have to work together and start the dialogue to find an answer. Amid the chants and raised fists, Golson marched alone, crying. She said she was thinking of her son, Arlen Golson, 24, who was accidentally shot and killed in February by a childhood friend inside the Innkeeper Lounge on West 25th Street. The bullet had been intended for someone else. I have two more I need to protect, Golson said, referring to her remaining children, ages 21 and 27. I hope this march saves at least one life. Photo by Ralph J. Mayers, Plain Dealer Photographer. Family and friends of five slaying victims march along St. Clair Avenue in a rally against violence. Beyond the